pill bottles are very useful to keep around. In here I have extra shear pins and a key for my snow blower. Well originally what I did was I actually had a different bottle on there and I just sort of wrapped the cable tie around and cable tied it to the machine. The cable tie will hold in the cold and that. This actually has a neck where it probably would work a lot better. Uh, the other bottle I had just was, um, I have it right here. Somebody gave it to me. It had a crack in it and it just, <laughs> it's of a different style as you see. So there was no easy way. And when I put that around, although it was good and I could tie it onto the machine, it really wanted to fall off. But that's an old one that's been laying around for who knows how long. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this stay attached with a cable tie. And the way we're going to do that is using a soldering iron actually. We're going to melt the plastic. First thing is going to be to remove all the stuff from the pill bottle, which allegedly is easier said than done because of the way it ended up tipping. <laughs> there he goes. Okay, so that's all out. What I should also do, so I don't lose anything, is to put the nuts on here, just, uh, just get them started, so they don't rattle around. I don't know why I never did that. So I'm still waiting for my soldering iron there to cook up and get hot. And what we're going to do is we're going to melt a couple of holes in the bottle to feed the cable tie through so that way it stays captive. So there's all the stuff to go back in it. And we'll just find a place right in the middle. I'll try to go this way if I can. I don't know if it's hot enough yet. Yeah, it is. And we're just going to melt really a slit or a slot Something like that. I don't know if that's hot enough, I mean uh, big enough for the cable tie. It is. And then we want to do the same thing a ways away. So we don't want to go too close because you have to work inside the bottle and it's going to be a trying process. So I'll try to do that one a little straighter. There we go. Maybe I'll just help this one out a little bit. There we go. Doesn't have to be anything precise here. We're just looking for something like that. And in fact, it's good if one of the holes is a little bit larger because now you can feed the cable tie in and loop it around. Now I'm probably going to need to use maybe a needle nose plier or maybe I just got it. Almost. There it is. That's it. Perfect. Just like that. Now it only takes up just a little bit of room inside the bottle. I don't know if you can see. And we're all set. The plastic is going to continue burning off with my soldering iron as well as any other stuff. That one I have uh, specifically for melting plastic. Stick that in and cap the bottle and now this can be fed through anywhere you need and we'll go and attach it to the uh, snow blower. So here's where I attached it. This is the control that turns the chute over here and it'll be held captive both ways so now it's just a matter of zipping up the cable tie if I ever need anything, there's access right there so I can still get the stuff out without even having to cut the cable tie. And once we get that in place, just tighten it up and clip off the excess. So that's it. Now it'll stay and it won't fall out because the original one, just with the cable tie around it, well, the vibration of this machine and that, yeah, it fell out one day. <laughs> But I found it and everything stayed inside. So anyway, quick little hack for that. 
Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.